So let us take the example for the fragmentation. Now I will just erase the names of the fields. We will fill the actual values here. Fine. We will fill the actual values. Now let us take for example now the original datagram is 4000. So let us show that this is the original datagram and it has got 4000 bytes and the range of bytes is 0 to 3999. Fine. You can write this particular value in the uh, format. Only related to fragmentation you can put the values. Identification is a 16 bit. So, identification you can select any ran randomly some number here. 16 bit are meant for this 2 to the power of 16. So, you can select any number in between the, uh, in between this range. So, let me just take one simply one randomly one number 19001. If the original datagram carries the identification as 19001, then all the fragments of this original datagram should and must carry the identification as what 19001. Now, in the flag you have to worry about this more. Now, this original datagram is not, that means all the complete 4000 bytes are there in this. So, we can write here what? 0. 0 indicates what? The packet is not, the it is the only fragment or it can be the last fragment. Remember, M, it can be the, M has got two possible options. It 0 indicates it can be the only fragment or not fragmented whenever you are have whenever you see a value 0 but when you see a value as m so m bit as 1 m it is not the not the last fragment that means some more fragments are there in the on the way this is not the last fragment so here in this case we are writing 0 because all this the packet is not fragmented presently offset value is always what the position of the fragment the position of the fragment presently this particular original datagram is not fragment the it starts from 0 so the position that is fragmentation offset you can write it as 0 only and remember you have to write down the total length also here so total length we are having 16 bits so, this was the position here to indicate for total length. In presently, how much is the size of the data? It is 4000 and you have 20 bytes for header. So, 4020 will be the total length in the original datagram. So, look here. This, this is what I have written. Related fields, you just write down every time total length, identification, flag and the offset value. Offset in this is 0. Next comes now we have completed this part. Now let us write, fill the values for the uh, first fragment here because we have to show all the three fragments. So let me write here with the diagram itself. So these are the three fragments. We will not worry about all the other fields only what the related fields for fragmentation. So we will fill it fast now. So, the first fragment is 1400 bytes. It starts from 000 and 1399. This is the fragment 1. And this, are, this is what? This is the range of the bytes. So, the total length is how much? 1400 plus 20 is what? 1420 is the total length. Fine. And identification, the fragment will carry the same identification of the original datagram. Then comes the more bit value. Now, see, look here. This fragment does not have the complete information. It is only a part of the packet. It is only a part of the information. Hence, the more bit value will be 1 in this case. Then you have to write down the offset value. Now, this is the first fragment in the packet and its position starts from what? 0, 0, 0. And in the second fragment, what is that you are going to do? So, let me write here fragment 1. This is fragment 2. Second fragment is 1400 plus 20 is what? Header. 1420 is the total length. Then identification we have to carry out the same way 19001. More bit will be what? So we will not worry about these two bits, only the more bit here. More bit is once again 1. 1 indicates what? It is not the last fragment. So definitely it is not the last fragment because it is consisting what? One section of bytes here, some middle section, and it starts from 1400 to because you have on the size is 1400 here for the second fragment, it will be 2800 bytes, no? so 2799. 
then you are going to write now you just worry, uh, write the correct value for the offset offset is always what the position of the fragment when you see this position that means already 1400 bytes are there okay the next position is for this fragment so and it is measured in terms of what 8 bytes only fragmentation offset is measured in terms of 8 bytes so if what you can do is whatever are the previous fragment uh, data that is the total number of bytes 1400 divided by 8 if you do you will get the position of the next fragment or in simpler words the starting byte number in the second frag in this particular fragment divide by 8 so when you divide 1400 by 8 you are going to get what value 1400 by 8 is what 175 this is the 175th position so when you multiply 175 into 8 you are getting 1400 so normally uh, you know that when we are using like this units of measurement like 8 bytes because of what because of the limited number of bits in the field fragmentation offset is having what total number of bits reserved for uh, offset is 13 bits 2 to the power of 13 is 8192 so nowhere you can represent any sequence of bytes more than 8191 but it is not like that practically you will have a higher value than this that's the reason if you measure in 8 by in terms of 8 bytes then you can represent any higher number that is higher than 8191 so this is what this particular concept is used like multiply by 8 divide by 8 if you remember even for the header length okay only 4 bits were meant but the value of minimum size of the header length is 20 bytes so we were using it in measures uh, in terms of what the units were 4 bytes multiply by my uh, divide by uh, 4 and multiply by 4 method we were using there similarly here this is the reason for uh, measuring the offset in uh, offset in terms of 8 bytes only so now you have filled the position of the offset hope you people have understood why did we write here 175 when you multiply 175 by 8 you will get the first byte number in the frag in this fragment that indicates what the position of the fragment with respect to other fragments the third fragment is having 1200 1200 plus header size is 20 then identification will definitely carry the same then the more bit value will be here in this case see this is the one fragment second this is the last fragment that means further there are no more fragments zero of yum bit indicates what either it is the last fragment or the packet is not fragmented at all so you will be writing here zero what are the range of bytes in the third fragment 2800 up to 3999 because this fragment consists of 1200 bytes only now what will be the position here uh, oh, sorry fragmentation offset you take that is the previous total bytes were 2800 2800 divided by 8 if you carry out you will get 350 this is how you have to fill the values for the fragment but see look here in this middle fragment is further divided into two more fragments so we can show those two fragments also here one fragment is of 800 bytes and the another fragment is of 600 bytes so how are you going to write the fields here first try to fill the total length value total length is what how much 800 plus 20 so 820 you can write down identification it is once again what 19001 more bits yes more is what one here fine because this is what a fragmented packet and the offset value if you have to write down look here this is no doubt the fragment of the second fragment previous to this is how much 1400 bytes were there and in this case the range of bytes starts from where 1400 up till because the size of the fragment is 800 bytes 1400 plus 800 2200 so it will end since you are starting from 14, 1400 you will write 2199 now divide this 1400 divide that is 1400 by 8 you will get 175 the offset value is 175 similarly fill the la, uh, second fragment of the middle fragment here the total bytes are 600 plus header 620 19001 is what the identification more bit value now more bit you have to be very careful in this no doubt this is the 
second or the last fragment of the middle fragment but this is not the last fragment with respect to the original datagram this one is the last fragment with respect to original datagram that's why in this case also you are going to write more value as one more in one indicates what this is not the last fragment then you are going to write the offset value so totally just see above this fragment totally how many uh, bytes were transferred here it is 1400 plus 800 2200 2200 divided by 8 you have to do and you can write down the range of bytes also here the first byte number is 2200 packet size is 600 so 2800 become 2800 2799 you are going to write the range of bytes so this indicates what total of 600 bytes what will be the offset value now you can see here previous to this is how much previous to this fragment you have sent 2200 bytes and now you will be writing the offset value 2200 divided by 8 so it is how much 2 275 275 is the answer so this way you are going to fill the values for the offset so this is f2.1 i'll write down this is f2.2 First fragment of the second, second fragment of the second. So, hope this example has helped you in filling the values for the uh, fragmentation related fields. So, this is how you have to carry out the solution for any numerical that is asked on fragmentation. Always remember the total length you are adding the header length and the total length is what that is the data plus header becomes the MTU whatever is the size of the data mentioned there and if MTU value is mentioned in the problem statement then definitely you have to look into the MT value, MTU value and decide the size of the packets okay but in this example the packet sizes were also like were given original datagram packet size was given and it was also mentioned that this original datagram got further divided into three more fragments each of these uh, each each having a size of so and so that's why you are able to quickly carry out the solution in case if the packet size is not mentioned but mtu value is given then depending on the mtu value you have to decide the packet size for the fragments hope uh, it is helpful for you people to carry out solutions for these kind of numericals thank you bye bye take care